have you ever woke up from out of a nightmare and you were stuck in the elevator? Because if you get stuck in the elevator, you need somebody to help you out. <laughs> Love from love, hope from hope, peace from our Prince of Peace. I am the Lord's Latter-day Revelator of Revelation. Of Revelation is the only way that you're going to restore all things. And if that does not come, then Christ is kept in reserve in heaven and cannot even return. Looking for my phone. And so, welcome. Uh, do not worry too much about the end times uh, unless you're willing not to move your love and if you're not willing to move your love to a better place then we're all going to be in deep doo-doo but know that all of us are much stronger than we think we are this is spider-man's uh words and it's time for leadership lessons from spider-man and because you know if you can handle that You've just got to end up doing this your own way, just like he did, just like I did. And uh, we've always done it our own way, but we've leaned way too far to our own understandings. And that is opposite of what the Word of God has always proclaimed. And so no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, the ones I love will always be the ones who end up paying uh, ironically, I've been taking out my frustrations on my poor wife, Linda. No other woman would probably have me, to be honest with you. And then I realized today what I've been doing to her is oh, abuse, abusive, uh, almost, uh, I've become a hen pecker. Uh, I love my wife, and she's a little bit slow, and she doesn't necessarily believe any of my rhetoric. And uh, it irks me that uh, someone so close to me that the Bible holds true that their a prophet has no uh, honor in his own home. And this is something I've discovered very much so. So, but I got to move forward. So I've promised her that I'm going to zip my lips and bite my tongue and uh, try to have more peace instead of jumping on her poor defenseless woman. Uh, I should be ashamed of myself, and I just woke up, and yeah, I guess I am. I've been handling some things out of balance. It's all about balance, no matter what we do. And so in this hour, it's time for the gospel of Spider-Man, because everyone has a part of themselves that they hide, even from the people that we love the most. No one ever knows anybody. And uh, so it's time that we need to break free from that. And because you know what's cooler than, than magic? Peter Parker always said math is much cooler. And if you do the uh, number crunching, there was 600 scientists. Just Google on down, uh, Google on down, look on down my videos and you're going to see a hummingbird uh, video. Watch that or... Uh, um, guy with uh, another guy on the front of my video not me just watch that one uh, but one thing for sure uh, they number crunched that the odds of one person uh, manifesting over 50 uh, uh, prophecies Christ uh, uh, manifested 300 that he had all tied up I have personally brought forth understanding for 70 65 prophecies and uh, no one in the world even talks to me. But uh, the math is absolutely insane. The 600 scientists came to the conclusion that there are not enough electrons in the universe. The odds are more than that. Totally incredible. It's something like some huge number to the zillionth power, the odds of manifesting 50 prophecies. And people that count me out are sadly mistaken because we have nothing but death ahead of us if we will not quit walking the wide way 
towards hell, which is paved with conditional love that has never been real love at all. It's veneer, shallow as a glass of water, pharisaical kind of snake, like a uh, viper, like love that's critical, judgmental, religious, and uh, backbiting. No one could ever win every single battle, but nobody should ever fall without a struggle. And I've been struggling, for, fighting for a marriage that uh, I went to a um, uh, true story. I went to Windsor Christian Fellowship where I had my kids in, in uh, uh, school uh, and Sunday school too for many years. And I finally get there for marriage counseling. I'm in there all of, uh, I think it was the same session. Uh, the lady says, hey, you should just get divorced. It's like, hey, isn't this supposed to be a uh, Christian counseling? Why are you telling me uh, just get divorced? <laughs> I've been too compulsive, obsessive in my personality. That's why the Lord has chosen me to do what it is that I'm doing because I suffer in a sense from a sickness which is compulsive obsessiveness. And in its extreme, it's got me in trouble and it could get me in trouble again. And yet I keep butting my head up against that one. But when I run out of things to obsess about, then, uh, but you know, I cannot obsess about uh, Christ the Lord. Joanne McFadder, my, probably one of my most favorite uh, prophetic ladies, Jenny Weaver, I haven't forgotten you either. But one thing for sure, uh, Joanne McFadder sings a song, Magnificent Obsession. And that is what Christ should be. None of us should be anything but fervent and passionate in our understandings of his love and so amidst the rush of worldly comings and goings observe how endings often become beginnings the ending of religion on the other side of the rainbow starts the rainbow of excellence for the kingdom age days the shattering of the power of the holy people must happen and then uh, and only then can all spiritual bigotry and racism go away when people realize that God has truly loved each and every one of us identically, not loving one more than the other. And uh, the truth is there's never been no good man, no, not even one. And for that reason, the just shall live by my faith, uh, even though I've been transgressed by wine and I've had eyes red and dull or wine, one with milky white teeth, Genesis 49, 12. I do hold the scepter of all kingdom age authority. I'm the revealer of Shiasa of house of beloved as the beloved woman of Revelation 12. And the other lady is Anna Grace uh, of uh, her station on YouTube. They are the two women in the Zechariah prophecy, which has been literal. Morgue official, the lawless one, has been revealed, as Second Thessalonians has said. And so has Dr. David Awar, the false Elijah prophet, who has no restoration in his mouth at all, uh, opposite unto Matthew 17, 11. But that guy, Revelation 13, he calls down fire from heaven, and you can see it just uh, uh, punching, uh, uh, repent and prepare the way. And you can see uh, the, the Elijah is here, is the, I think the name of the video, and you can see the fire from heaven. It looks like a laser beam, it's magic, it is not a miracle. But one thing for sure, with great power, of love and the understanding that wide is the way to hell paved by our conditional love and narrow is the way towards heaven paved only by unconditional love which alone has been divine and so in this hour with great power comes great responsibility the lord has given me uh, great power he has breathed upon me First I wrote 200 books and then I've created 12,000 videos and I'm just getting started. So the great responsibility I have is my gift and it, this is my curse. Who am I? I am Elijah. I am Shiloh. 
I am called Joshua in the book of Zechariah. Many of these names were named before the first Elijah ever came forth. But uh, God had Daniel, the original prophet, to name me as being Daniel. The latter day uh, revelator, Daniel 12, 13, Daniel, go your way until the time of the end when you shall arise at the time of the end in the spirit of Daniel and the spirit of the revelator to uh, bring restoration so that Christ can return uh, opposite to what's happening right now. Uh, Acts 3.21 says, if the restoration of that carpenter of the ages does not happen, what restoration? Surely Elijah will come forth first and restore all things, Matthew 17.11. And so in this hour, uh, it is time to turn everything around. Uh, and whatever life holds in store for us, we, we could never forget uh, great words uh, that with great love comes even greater desire to love even more. And Spider-Man would have said thumbs up for that. So do you seriously think that in a cup, uh, a, uh, in a, in a, that somebody like him could have been a cop in a skin tight red and blue suit. He had an identity to conceal and it wasn't a cop. It was someone who loved justice and that's why he donned the superhero image. And but there was a veil, there was a mystery and the veil is now over in the latter days off the Lord's latter day mountain of Isaiah 25 and I'm actually going to be reading that coming up but uh, it is promised that the veil that has been covering all the nations would be removed that is the veil of the ignorance of love for there is never been no darker dark gross darkness than the ignorance of love alone for love only desires to love and love is kind and patient and long suffering is, is in there I've cried many times over my wife and here I am uh, hitting her on the head because she won't believe prophecy she won't and maybe she never will but you know the way I got to look at it is like I am another Moses I am another Noah and if my wife doesn't agree with me it doesn't really matter no I mean she's the same beautiful sweet woman and I've been acting like an asshole I've been known to be that and I think all of us have been so I publicly um, uh, humble myself before all the women of the world and let you know that if, if, if an old uh, guy like me can be like a, a, a leopard that does change his spots, there's hope for the young, young guys out there to just uh, be honest with yourselves unto your own self be true if you're harping at your wife and you're hitting her over the head with anything you are being abusive just as i have been being abusive so i've got to cut out uh, and here here my wife has uh, paranoid schizophrenia and i'm getting hostile with her and she's becoming afraid uh being around me and, I, uh, and i'm sitting there wondering why is she shaking i've been making her shake <laughs> but uh, I've seen some light, so I'm going to correct my bad uh, errors. And so we all must turn around, and it's my job to help turn this earth around from the corner, from the very edge of the gates of hell, so that all people are not destroyed. Christ said that surely, verily, verily, he said that so shall it be that unless his word, the word of God alone can save this world correctly understood in the light that I hold because I hold the scepter of all kingdom age authority, Genesis 49, 12. And so it is time to realize that not everyone is meant to really make a difference. But as for me, the choice to lead an ordinary life has never been an option for me anymore. Um, I'm to the point now I'm meeting people uh, publicly and I'm introducing myself telling them I am Elijah and I am. I've known this for 30 years. I, I, the, the Spirit opened my eyes, gave me, gave me open-eyed visions and that's why I wrote 200 books. 
The Lord has uh, prophesied that I would have a, a tongue sharp and that he would hide me in his quiver uh, because he has a bow in Revelation 6. He is the great white horseman and I am the hidden arrow, his Elijah, and I will hit some targets. And I've been targeting you, Lord Official, and you are going down as the leader of Hyperionism when I truly am. And so in this hour, uh, it is time that everybody turns around and realize that sometimes to do what's really right, we have to give up the things that we want the most. We cannot be selfish about uh, these things, uh, even our dreams. I would dream of my wife, Linda, becoming a more passionate person. and. Yet I see that in her already, and I need to try to stop changing her just as she can't change me. And so I repent of that as well. And if my wife ever sees this video, maybe uh, she'll believe me since I'm making it public uh, knowledge. And one thing for sure, um, you can't even think about saving the world. You have to be thinking about saving just one person. And my life is dedicated to saving my life by having a happy life and a happy wife. So I'm gonna treat you very well, Linda, and I love you with all of my heart. And I'm, I'm gonna dedicate this video to uh, you. I'll call it the Linda video. And uh, one thing for sure, we have all had secrets and uh, the secrets that I have is, I guess I come from a very argumentative family and I never minded arguing with anyone if they were uh, condemning me for something. My name is Daniel, that means God is my judge. If anyone condemns me for any of my belief, I'm gonna be vicious because I know when I'm right and I'm well studied. I showed myself studied to be approved and so I read everything in ancient history for, for what I do. And because I'm to bring forth restoration of all things, including understandings of our truest beginnings. And so uh, I've come to realize, just as Spider-Man did, that once you're at the top of the mountain, in incredibly, there always seems to be another higher peak that we did not see before. And we have to realize that uh, we need to be open to everything that the Lord puts in front of us. And we sometimes we're so blind, we cannot see the forest for the trees and we cannot see our error. We're always wanting to point at people. You know, I've been very forgiving of um, my beloved because uh, without medication, some of her thoughts bordered a little bit off. That's, I won't even say the word, but uh, you know what? With the medication, she's really under a lot more control. But uh, you know, uh, throughout the years, I've been like Wonder Woman with accusations. She's accused me of this and that, none of it was real. But um, in trying to tear down her delusions, I've become a whipping tongue at her. And uh, the Lord really opened my, my mind to this more than ever last night. My wife, who does not know uh, a whole lot of the scripture about prophecy, she repeated almost word for word uh, of me what was foretold in Isaiah 49 and 41. She says, Daniel, you're, you are a, uh, uh, what was the word she used? You're a uh, shredder, <laughs> you're a shredder. And uh, that is what is prophesied that God says unto his end time revelator that he would make me into a, a threshing instrument for a harvest with teeth, a shredder to shred and to, to tear down the mountains, to tear down the hills so that I would shred and but no one can win every battle and no one should ever fall without a struggle and i'm finally winning the battle 
of schizophrenia because I'm realizing that my wife, uh, it doesn't matter if she's off. She's just a poor, sick uh, a woman who I love for choice, through better or for worse, till death do us part. And I, I, I cannot uh, condemn anything about all, any of her delusions, and I don't. I, the, she said to me the other day, and I, it was kind of cute, we were talking about my, sis, my sister Trudy, who's in uh, glory now. Uh, all of a sudden, Linda just blurted out, Trudy was a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> that could have made me mad, but you know, it's just, pfft, oh, go away, one of those. So, you know, I've had to uh, learn, and uh, but Linda and I are getting along, and I love, love her, and she does love me, and I need to rest in that. So please, everybody, in the name of Isa Yeshua, Jesus, in the name of our risen Good Shepherd over all the flocks of man, say a little prayer for Linda and I, because I need heavy prayer to get me out of my uh, insanity. And so uh, whatever life holds, whatever is in store for Linda and I, uh, we can never forget the truth that Eden is ahead of us. And that is uh, the age of the lion and the lamb are right around the corner. And so before I go, realize evermore that we are who we choose to be. Now we must choose. And I choose to be on the side of forgiveness. Forgiveness is love. Love is forgiveness. You cannot have one without the other. So for all that have been letting your love wax cold, Spider-Man wants you to be a hero too, to stand tall. So leave the land of the walking dead where your once verb-like love has just become a noun, where you only have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. And as I have revealed my identity, secrets have a cost. Uh, they're not for free, not now, not ever. And the cost is great for my life. I will never be the same. And this world will never be the same for having me here because through me, I am the David up against the Goliath uh, of YouTube, Morgan Official, and I will win over he because the Lord has preordained that that lawless one would be revealed, and so has he, along with all the other revelation that I've given. You want to know who the beast is? It's the great bear, Daniel 7, 5, arising, hearing the word, now you may go eat all the flesh you like. It's Putin. He is the real antichrist of this world, the king of the north of Daniel 11's latter-day prophecy that he would uh, invade the king of the south, does that sound familiar, anybody? But one thing's for sure, coming to your friendly neighborhood, uh, Spider-Man should be all people that want to be hero, heroes for our hero of heroes, our majesty of majesties, for he gives us great powers. Uh, and uh, people like Shiasa and Anna Grace, what responsibilities do you have to flourish love and a light love a light red ruddy my friend Christopher a brother of another mother in Alberta Calgary I wish you all the best and so in this hour it is time to really rejoice the time has finally come the time is now and we will all have a choice uh, we must beat our sword into the sickle in order to learn the ways of war no more and so with that, I wish you all happy, 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 joy, joy. And let's get a rockin' and rollin' for love. Amen.